Okay, my friends, let's, let's hug. Hug you. You hug you. So go ahead and sit in a comfortable spot. Roll your shoulders back. This is really a full body journey. And it you know, consists of a couple things. I want you to make sure that your body is as comfortable as it can be. You can lay down, you can sit down, there's nothing. I'm just, you know, like you can see, I'm just wiggling things out and getting ready, right? So make sure that you're in a really good place. Um, number two, you're gonna be, I'm gonna be talking you through it and we're gonna be using the mind who likes to be involved in everything um, and visualization so if you see things if you're a visual person great if you just hear it and you're just seeing blank spots that's great too it doesn't really matter why I'm talking you through it is so you can join in the journey however it transforms for you some people see things some people just hear it and feel things some people just see like black or white openness and vastness. This is just possibility opening up to you. You might see it like a movie screen and it might um, be a blank canvas. And so neither is wrong. I want you to just be really comfortable with that. But why I'm mainly talking and walking you through the experience is to give your mind something to do. So when um, and if, if and when you go off on a journey with your mind, go ahead and just pull it back to whatever I'm saying and where I'm inviting you to be. And then the third piece is really marrying your emotions in it. Oftentimes people cry, people feel things, um, different visuals come up as you're meeting your soul, different feelings. Um, allow whatever feeling comes up. It could be anger to total elation to um, to fear. Like all of that stuff is really natural. It's it's almost what you felt when you went into hiding, or what you're feeling right now, depending on where you're at in your own process. So allow whatever you feel to feel. Try not to grab it or meaning make around it or go into any story around it. Just let it to let it let just rush through you, flush through you, and go. Um, sometimes you just have some handkerchiefs beside you. You can just wipe your tears and throw it down. We're just letting it pass through us and let it leave. Those are issues in your tissues, like I said in the first video, um, that just just are leaving, just are letting go. And um, so you can step into a more powerful you. With this, let's go ahead and get started. So you can shut your eyes, so you can visualize and just fill, fill this. If by any chance you're doing this, you wanna to listen to this while you're driving or doing something, um, you can. You're just going to be really paying attention to whatever you're doing and um, letting the words just wash over you, um, keeping your eyes open. I really do advise though pulling over to the side and being in a place where you can absolutely sit down and, and relax. So first, take a nice deep breath, inhale and exhale. Just feel your body, feel where you are in space. Your next inhalation, just notice where your thoughts are and bring your awareness and your thoughts to the place above you, this place of heaven or light, love above you. This is a place where we go to pray, where we go to hope, where we go and we're calling on that higher essence. So just go ahead and and reach up there and say yes, tap into that, and invite this light, this liquid love, the spirit of love to come down upon you. And visualize your mind, your brain, literally open up, and you have a crown here, opening in your crown, and this flood of energy, this love just comes down into you. And this is divine love, perfect love, creator's love. And in this love, we're just asking for this love to fill up any spaces, any old news, and delete an unstory, and let go of any, anything that's in your head. So I say dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend. We're going to dissolve it physically, resolve it emotionally, mentally, dissolve it energetically. Okay, and then this energy is just going to 
totally take the story, take the meaning making out of it and let it go. And we're asking this to just surrender to it as it heals through your actual cells and the synapses in your brain. So invite this light down through your brain, through your neurons, through all the firing there. And we're asking it to realign to perfect health and well-being. Any place where you've thought negative thoughts of yourself that you have not felt good about yourself, where you've believed lies that other people told you as truth, we ask them to be eliminated right now, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend them through the light and love right here. And down through your eyes and your ears, anything that you've seen or heard that was this out of place, that wasn't true, that was evil, we ask for this to be eliminated, to be covered with light, to be covered with love, to be covered with forgiveness. We forgive ourselves, we forgive others, and we forgive God. So three levels of forgiveness here. So important. And then just let this light and this love fall down through your throat. Any harsh words that have been spoken over you, we ask this light and love to dissolve and resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend them. Any place somebody else's will or willpower took over yours and uh, stepped all over you, we ask this to be eliminated for all cords to be cut, for all ties to be eliminated and dissolved and resolved and transformed, transmuted and transcended for all levels, layers, and all times. Invite this loving light to come down through your shoulders. Any place where you haven't been embraced, where you're carrying other people's burdens or they're carrying yours, and therefore you cannot heal, go ahead and call back your power from anybody that you've given it to and send back power to anybody that you've taken their power on to carry their burdens because we only can heal our own stuff. And just see this kind of go out and come in and go out and come in. And then invite this light to just come in. You no longer have to sift through the, the burdens. You can just ask this light to take care and heal anything that's already healed, anything that's ready to be healed, anything that you don't even know about that's ready to be healed. That complete healing and restoration comes to these things. And invite this liquid love down through your heart and any place where your heart's been broken or confused, where you feel where you feel um, lost, we ask for uh, this to um, be healed for and covered in this liquid love and this light. And to feel this love through your heart, opening up your heart, any place where you haven't loved yourself, we ask for love to be deposited here, pure love from your very essence, from that that is you that chose to be born, that chose this life. And you just invite this love into there, even if you don't know how to love that you receive it to your best of your ability and anything blocking you from receiving this divine love, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend this through the light and love that is all light and love. And down through your belly, any place where you feel sucker punched, where you feel like life hasn't been fair to you, where you've been struggling, that you've been defined by outside circumstances, you've been defined by the past, defined by others, and have not been allowed to define yourself or taken that allowance to define yourself, where you believe the definitions that others put on you as a child. We ask for all of this to be eliminated, dissolve, resolve, transform, transmuted, and transcend through the light and love of creator God and through all of this all the way down and any place that this is we ask for a deposit here of absolute truth of your well-being of your beauty of your divine essence of your self-worth of your value of your essence of your gifts and your talents to be shown to you and for you to own them and receive them in completeness right here right now and invite this liquid love down through your belly and through your guts, through your lower back, any place where you've held on to other people's burdens here on your lower back, any place where you've tried to create things for people, tried to solve other people's problems and uh, haven't been able to because it was their problems to solve, any place where you've tried to create things because people wanted you to and you couldn't create it and you've and you've labeled yourself as somebody who's not creative, somebody is not capable, somebody is unworthy, we ask you to dissolve, resolve, transform, transmute, and transcend all of this 
through this light and love. And in its place, we deposit pure creation, your pure creative power, your gifts and your talents, your well-being into this place. And you fill up on your creative power any place that you've denied your own creativity or creative essence. And down to the place of having imbalanced hormones or not being able to have children. We ask for all of this to be dissolved, resolved, transformed, transmuted, and transcended for true healing to take place as you accept all of the creative power that you have, as you take responsibility for your creative essence in this world, and you release all burden of creativity that you were held responsible by other people, and you give them back their own power to be the creative force in their own lives, giving back that power. And then at the base of your tailbone, there's a literal and figurative drain and faucet. I want you to go ahead and pull this drain and turn on this faucet to full blast. And you're just like a, like all this poo, all this crap that you've held on to for years that's stuck in your tissues and yourselves, that's stuck in your belief systems, that's been stuck in your creative power. Just ask for it to be drained completely. Let go back into Mother Earth where she recycles it in perfect divinity. It's like literally it is um, manure. It's crap that is now being transformed into a, a, this great fertilizer. So just let it go. Don't worry about holding on to anything. Don't worry about sifting through it. Just let it all go. And bring your awareness back to your pure essence through your legs, through your feet. Any place that you have been plugged into, any um, negative forces, any evilness, any bad habits, any, any old powers, anybody else's power that you've given power over you, we're just going to ask this beautiful, loving Holy Spirit to just pull out any old gunk and junk in there and just weed your garden, right? And you're going to invite yourself to call back your power completely and then anchor yourself into one power, one essence, this divine love. And this love goes through what I sense is the tree of life, through God, into the center of earth, into this place where it's like this mother's beautiful energy, pure mother energy, like Mother Earth or the Garden of Eden. And in this place, there is divine health. There's everything that you need for your beautiful life. So all the resources, the money, the health, the, the people that you're required to meet, to serve, to love, to serve you, all of that wisdom is there. And you're just going to scoop up this awareness, like a beautiful, a beautiful box, a gift is given to you. Go ahead and receive this gift, and you're going to travel like an elevator up, up, up from this anchor place back into your feet. You're going to open up this gift, and you're just going to invite this divine health in through your feet, through your calves, through your legs, through your knees, joining with this divine energy from above, so below, so below so above, so below, here, through your hips, through all of your organs, all of your systems, all the way up through your crown, right? And divine, just joining forces with this divine energy from above. And then you're going to bring them both together down into your heart center. Now in the heart, that is where this energy from above and this, this divine essence core from below is coming together to form you where you are you know, both physical and spiritual here on earth. This is your walk. And as you walk into your heart center, you're going to notice a beautiful door. This is your door. You're going to reach out and open this door, and there is this beautiful room. And it has gardens and streams and every place that is yours right there. And you're going to just feel it and sense it. And love it right here. You know, have a, a beautiful bed there. You have maybe a, a screen. You might have some doors. You might have some lakes. All of your favorite things there. And there is your relationship with, with God. Pam. And I'll let you define that for yourself. You have love there. 
And this is a really safe, beautiful place for you. So you just sense yourself there for a minute. Take a few breaths. Look around. Be curious. Fill your heart. Notice God and Creator there, or love, however you define it. And also there, there's a part of you that you may know very well, and you may be meeting for the first time in a long time today. This is your higher self, your soul, the part of you that never changes, that is divinely made, that is all-knowing, that is intuitive, that knows your purpose, that is powerful, as a master manifester, that knows all things about you. And just ask where she or he is. And when you get a sense of this, go ahead and just walk over there. You might shake hands with her. You might sit down with her. You might give her a big hug. If you're male, just insert him there. And at first, I just want you to just explain that you're really protecting your own life. And now you're required to have this power within you, or at least be able to come back here and get to know her. And if you want to spend this time just getting to know her, just sit down and literally just have that conversation. Hi. Introduce yourself and ask her what she wants to tell you and just listen. You might journal afterwards. And that is one place just to stay. And if that's where you're at, I just want you to, like, just ignore everything else that I say and just be in that space until I snap my fingers. And we're all just going to have that conversation. Just say hi and, and listen if there's anything that she has to tell you. And if you're ready, go ahead and ask her if she would come back into your life, into your body, to every cell, to bring perfect health and well-being and realign and bring your body, your mind, and your, soul, your vibration back into tune with your soul. And if she says yes, you can literally just step into her. And for this moment, just feel that. And sometimes this works and you can feel that just like that. And sometimes you might feel just a little discombobulated. And that's perfectly okay. Allow whatever comes up to come up. And deepen your breath. And we're going to ask love, this divine light, God, if you're comfortable with that word, to come over and reseed your soul because God is the master gardener into your body. Because your physical body is like the dirt and your mind is like the nutrients and your vibration is like the water. And God plants it all. So go ahead and you can lay down in your mind's eye. There's a beautiful bend there. Maybe some grass or some moss. Lay there. Just ask God to recede your soul, really sealing it in to your toes and your ankles and your feet, to your calves and your knees and your thighs, through your hips and your belly into every organ. Each time your heart pumps, your blood is bringing this new awareness, this true vibration in through every cell of your body, balancing everything out in through your shoulders and through your neck 
and through your jaw and through your head and through your eyes, relaxing deeper into your own vibration, all the way up. We're just asking for the seal to seal you in as the flower as you bloom now. Feeling your breath and your full energy coming here. Bringing this new awareness of wholeness into you. And then go ahead and just walk around your room, getting up, feeling this in your mind's eye. Just walk around your room, see what else is in there. Feeling your wholeness, feeling your vibration, ah, feeling your clarity of thought, feeling this connection with all things and all beings. Knowing that you can come back here and reseed your soul as many times as you'd like. Every day, eventually, it does stick. It comes easier and easier. But sometimes, you know, we just pop out again. And it's okay. You're coming to receive yourself over and over and over again. Your whole, feel this, retuning to this new vibration, this new peace of mind. You are your best friend. You are holy, holy, holy. Into this divine health where you are now living in your temple holy in your temple. And then when you feel this, go ahead and walk out of your room. And if at this point, if you didn't join with your higher self yet, it's perfectly okay. Give yourself a hug, say thank you. Walk away knowing you can come back and get to know her more and more. Feeling comfortable there. Reassuring her any time. Now you know. And then feel your heart just expand into your body. Feel your body expand into your, your vibrational space, your reality bubble, which is about arm's distance outside of you. And then there we're just asking for this seal where you are safe in your bubble as you. And just invite yourself to serve as love, as this light, as this change. So everybody feels it outside of yourself. So you're no longer in the old paradigm. You're now in the new paradigm of health and well-being, of change, of beauty, of surviving beyond survival into thriving. You are in the family of thrivers. And you're going to extend this awareness out to everybody that feels your essence outside into the room, the space that you're in, outside into the city that you're in, outside beyond into your state, maybe into your country. Just go as far out as you can go as you feel comfortable today into your hemisphere, all the way out beyond the earth, just blessing everything beyond into the center of the universe. And then bring your awareness back into your sphere, into your body. Take a nice deep breath, opening your eyes. Whew. Feeling that hug into yourself. Congratulations. You, you are the change. You are now a thriver. You are now aware. This is more responsibility, but this is more power in your life. <sighs> Give this gift to everybody that you know. You never know who needs it, who's ready to be a part of this change, to take back their power, to say yes to themselves, to live in this essence. I recommend doing this hug in the morning and the evening if you can, or a variation of it. The fast way to do it is just closing your eyes, connecting to the light above, Connect to the light below. Connect to your heart chakra. Your heart essence. Everyone to call it that light energy there. And then say, oh, where am I? Where is my wholeness, my essence? You know, ask Holy Spirit, God, to 
where you see your soul, just go and hug your soul, however that feels natural to you. Reconnect with that all being and invite that being into your full body, into your sphere. Spread it out your star of the world all the way out to the center of the galaxy, right? Like we can see the stars out there. Let them see you. And then bring your awareness back in. Literally, I mean, it can happen that fast. So that is, um, that is your quick meditation there. Um, enjoy this. Enjoy your power, standing in your power. You can do it in the line at the grocery store. Anytime you're feeling off, just connect. I love you. Thank you for being a part of this community. If you want to um, know more, I have some beautiful stuff at AntiqueAlicia.com as well for you to um, connect with and tap into. Love you much. Bye.